Hey, what is up YouTube? It is Matty and welcome back to another war recap video. So, yeah, we we started a new clan war search, um, looking like a nice nice clan war again that we're going to go up against. And this time, obviously you can see our, our war log is looking greener again. Um, we've uh, caught, got back into the right way of thinking and right way of raiding. And you can see by some of our wins we've been absolutely dominating. Um, including this raid that I'm about to, this war I'm about to show you. So you can see 26 to 2. So let's have a quick look at their um, our maps. They didn't really even try. They obviously got uh, one attack on Monster and they they failed. They they I don't think they ever stood a chance. Being honest. And then where we went wrong, all of our four stars that we missed are on the top. GGF um, on our standard cleanup. I think he he got yeah he missed the town hall slightly. I wasn't able to to get any better on it. Um, but Ahmed got 91% on the uh, on the tunnel 10 there, and yeah, so those are the four stars we missed. Everything else was three starred. So yeah, really good war. I, I'll go through some of these bases for you and just uh, yeah, let's see. In fact, I might go through them all if we do it nice and quickly and uh, just see the sort of three stars that we were doing. I'm just trying to remind myself of who who was doing the attack. So we've got a lot of Dom here getting the three stars. We've got Monster. Ahmed, awesome Callan. So none, none of me today, guys. No, <laughs> I think I failed on both raids. So uh, yeah, let's start with Lachi and see how he, who and how he did it. Hog raid, you can see Max Hogs, which is great. What's he doing? So he's looning some of these bottom defences to get them out of the way. So we're talking like a, a holo here. He's getting the CC pull as well. So double roll in it, which is brilliant. Um, Hopefully that bottom loon is going to take that cannon down. Yep, there we go. So four defences gone with a few loons and he's got the CC pull. Needs to check if there's a loon in there. I don't know if he's going to throw a hog in or anything like that. Maybe, maybe not by the look of it. So hopefully there's not a, ho uh, there's not a loon in there or he knew there wasn't. Uh, maybe maybe he'd seen another raid on this base. So you can see he's thrown his kill squad in. He's got the golem taken at the damage. Normally I try and take down as much of the CC as possible before dropping the golem so it's not dead and just a... Uh, dead before anything else kicks off but the king and the um queen are going to take him down his queen in come in come the group of hogs now all he needs to do is keep these alive that heal spell was slightly misplaced in my opinion um because a lot of the <coughs> a lot of the hogs weren't in it for very long so he's going to have to waste another spell down the bottom here um and he's already out of spells now so yeah slightly Poor heal spell placement on the first one. The second one was pretty good. Um, but it looks like his hogs are going to be able to do enough to power through. His king... Uh, his queen's still alive. Sorry, his king's dead. Um, which means that she can start pushing towards the, the town hall. So... All the defensive buildings are down now. The, the hogs turned on the king and took him down. So now it's just a case of cleanup. I'm just going to speed through the raid. Um, pretty easy cleanup now. There was enough hogs left to do the damage, and uh, and yeah, the kill squad are in there on the town hall. Boom, boom, pow. Base was ripped out. So a nice successful hog raid there. Well done, Lachi. Let's go to the next one. We got Dom. What are you saying? Paused. Um, yep, another hog raid. So what? What would I do to take down this base? I would. You know, the queen needs to die. The CC needs to be pulled. So I'll pull the CC probably on that cannon there um, kill squad into the queen and then just hog it there's no space for double giant bombs so it should be quite a clean easy one to go for so he's got the giants going in there that sorry that's where the CC pull is oh and he's <coughs> and he's eliminating a double uh, a giant bomb sorry so that's a, a nice double purpose there I think he's got all the CC out now he used a nice anchor over there oh eliminating another giant bomb is there any more he can eliminate uh, we'll have to see but two giant bombs already written off before this raid's even started. Kill squad was nicely deployed as well by the look of it. The um, Yeah, they're powering through quite nicely. Now what he's got to do, I don't think he even needs any funneling because look at the outside buildings. They're, they're all going to naturally move towards the queen. As soon as the queen starts locking onto that golem and some skellies or the, some troops move near it, they're going to lock onto the queen. Now the question is, can they power through and get into there? So he's going to... I think he tried to use some wall breakers to get in. Meanwhile, I'm sure the hogs are... Yeah, here come the hogs, look. So he's getting in towards the queen. As long as she goes down, um, his hogs are good to go in. So now he doesn't need to do too much worry, and he's just blasted in a hell of a lot of hog riders, and they're just going to move in. They're in the core now, which is perfect. That's where you want them to go soon. Kill the core and get out of it. 
Um, nice heel spell placements. He's, set, he's managed to save a heel spell as well. So he's got one on the right, probably for the top side of the base for the, the, the final heel spell. There you go. And that is a really nice, clean, easy three star. So I'm just going to blast through the rest of it now. Loads of hogs remaining. Um, very, very clean cut. There we go. Three stars. Um, I love the fact that we're we're just smashing out these three stars lately. It's it's awesome. Here we go, guys. We're going into the next replay. It's a van. He's got his lava houndy, lava lalunian, um, smash through the base approach. All the loons in. Pretty much all the hounds in. He's got four rage and a lightning. How's he going to do it? The couple of rages are down. This is the point where I'd write a light in the CC, which he's done. Nice. Um, now, the, the hounds are moving through the base again. A ra couple of more rage spells to uh, just finish it off. And boom. That there is pretty much raid over. <laughs> so, heroes for cleanup. I, I, I just find the, this sort of raiding unbelievable. I can't, I, I can't see. Uh, I just can't fathom it. But, um, yeah. Wow. Just gonna speed through the rest of it now. Luckily, the uh, the hounds you want the hounds to die at this point so that the the pups can help on cleanup. So he's I don't think he even needs his heroes. I th oh yeah, I think he disconnected and he couldn't even get to his heroes. So luckily he was in the chat before the raid was over. So we're there sat watching it, thinking, um, and and he's like, "Hey guys, how, how's my raid going?" And we're like, "What what do you mean you're in it?" And he was like, "Well, I disconnected." So. <laughs> Didn't even need his strong heroes to, to, to clean that up. That's insane. Uh, uh, yeah, anyway, moving back, we got uh, um, another three star by Dom. So Dom obviously was uh, sort of an MVP this war by the look of it. What we're we doing, CC pull there, another hog raid. Uh, can't see any pl places for double giant bombs, so uh, pretty much similar to the last one. CC pull complete, anchor to the left there. Kill the CC with a kill squad. Push into the queen and kill her. Bish, bash, bosh. Boom, 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 boom. Down goes the golem. Yeah, in goes to the queen. Heroes, bash, bash. Yeah, standard. Asian wall of hogs down the bottom, which worked well. And now they're moving through the base nicely. There's the first, where's one of the giant bombs, but it was still within the heel, so fine. He's got another heel spell nicely in the core there, and he's one at the top, yep. Yeah. Okay, so the heel spells have really sort of saved him on this raid. Yes, this, you can see the hogs flying around through spring traps, which I suppose is the biggest killer of hogs, really. Um, but if you can get enough hogs on the base to begin with, um, it really sort of you can still power through and, and take those three stars all the defense is gone now kill squad are in good nick um king on kings towards the other king if we can take that king down now the last threat that's uh raid secured here he here goes the king v king fight level 18 always will win over level 10 or whatever with both heroes alive and loads of cleanup troops easy three star so awesome raid by dom there um, number six, we got monster. Let's see what strategy you're going. Monsters hogs are only level four, so he's not going to be hogging. We're going with the Larlunian. So, yes, he's doing the strategic approach. Six hogs on the top cannon. You can see they're taking a take down that air defense. So one air defense has already been dealt with. That was perfect. Um, we've got kill squad down the bottom here. Now the objective should be that they kill the CC. And the I would have pulled the CC out a bit further, by the way, just in my opinion. Um, got them to further down to, to kill them quicker so that the heroes can remain undamaged while they're going in. Because the idea is that they take down another air defence. And while they take that air defence down, he's going to um, throw his loons and hounds down on this side. So in go the hounds, look. In go the loons. Dropping a couple of loons on each of the defences. So quite a sort of strategic... Uses using his rage spell in to help the help the loons out. So, yeah, that's how he's he's done it. It's like the the sort of the strategic approach. Saved a couple of loons for the back end. That's key because they have got a, a lot of travelling to do while the arch tower can take them down. Um, unless you take them out like he did, and then it's just the core now because Teslas and those expos can tear through loons quite quickly. But you can see how many he's got left. It's and that last loon there as well. Awesome to drop in to take down that arch tower. And at this stage of the raid, 
he's just secured himself a nice three stars with all those pups going around the outside now i'll fly through the rest of the raid um but yeah that was more like a, a that was a, a strategic laloon as opposed to um a lot of vans attacks which are uh uh, guys I'm not slating him whatsoever <laughs> they are working um, but yeah there's just it just shows us two two completely different methods of uh, of deploying this sort of army um, and achieving the same result um, but yeah hopefully we, it's going to let me go back to base here we go uh, oh got a balloon thank you who else are we on now? Number five and number four. So five is by Ahmed. So yeah, you can see we've got Ahmed on the uh, the top guys again. Um, top ten or tens. Top ten or nine. Sorry. Well, this is really frustrating when it um, just doesn't load. I don't know why it's having connection issues. So again, their top ten or nines so weren't that strong this uh, this war. But you can see he's basically opening up the compartments to allow his golem to just drop straight in. That one was a slight mit fail. <laughs> Didn't go in the compartment he wanted, obviously. Um, anyway, golem's in. Wizard's behind now. Nice spread there. And he j he's just going to basically throw the giants in. And there's so much sort of damage per second and uh, soak p units that are soaking up the damage that... <laughs> it's a, uh, it's an, it's the raid was over before it started. Nice lightning he's going to need here on those witches because they're the things that can ruin go wee wee um, if they're not dealt with. And you can see the CC were dealt with very efficiently um, on that lightning on the go. His level forty king and queen are now in the core of the base. And to be honest, if there was nothing else going on, they could probably just tear it up from inside out anyway. So Queenie's doing her thing, and. Yeah, it's just going to be a case of the troop, the uh, giants running around soaking up damage. Queen needs to go and get out of the core soon. Um, hope, hopefully she can survive long enough to get out that, well, the jump spell survives long enough to get her out. Here she goes. Is she going to get out? No, she's still in range of buildings. That's one advantage of the queen, obviously. she's in. She can be in range of pretty much everything on the friggin' map. <laughs> anyway, um... Queen's out now, and that's it. All these troops left just to finish up those couple of defences. Not a chance, so it's a, a nice, easy three-star as well. Okay, going into the next vid, what we got, what we're saying. Kalin, let's see what strategy you're using. Is it Lalunian again? Likely, yep. <laughs> Okay, lots of minions. Um, so again, here's the third way of deploying um, this sort of uh, army. So what we've got, a couple of loons um, to take down the uh, one air defence there. So he's got one air defence already dealt with. He's got loonian on the uh, the right hand side of the base. And no notice that there's no um, lightning spell. So the CC are just going to be dealt with by the look of it um, with a freeze spell. And then the minions in to help take them down. And now you've got your loons going into the core. Your hounds run into that, ran to that last air defence um, at the top. But then now he's just got a huge swarm of loons slowly edging their way towards an air defence. And if you've got that many loons, it shouldn't be an issue taking down the rest. Especially when you've got minions running through and taking down all the buildings as well. You see what we've got like 12 loons. They are slowly getting picked apart though. Um, so that, that air defence needs to go down pretty quick. There it goes. Now with just one Tesla left and that HP on the loons left. We're going to be okay to get the uh, boom. There it is. And then the rest of his minions cleaning the base. Bish bash bosh. Three star. So uh, yeah we've got a nice variation of videos this uh, this war by the look of it. With Laloon, uh, Hogs and um, Go Wee Wee. Those are the three main strategies in war, being honest, these days. If people are go wiping, they're really not going for three stars. Um, they're, they're, it's a two-star strategy, in my opinion. Although you can get three with go wipe if you, if you get lucky or if, you're, um, if you really know what you're doing. But people just think they can spam some golems, some wizards behind, then some troops in, and then it's a three-star. It's not like that whatsoever. <laughs> Um, for the last raid, I'm going to show this war, guys. It's going to be the, the guy raid against the top guy, and it's um, with GGF, who, yeah, managed to get the... Um, actually, I might show Vans 91%, but, yeah, this is the... Uh, another raid. 
obviously. He's getting the free percentage down the bottom with the main attack going through the top. So he's got a nice GLM spread, but then he's pushing through the right hand side, which is good. I thought he was going to, by the GLM thread, I thought he was going to try and push through the line of symmetry, but gladly he, he clearly knows what he's doing. He hasn't. So it's true with his troops going in now, healed and um, jumping into the core. He's got a l lovely lightning spell, which pretty much ripped the whole CC apart. And now his king and queen are heading towards the t town hall. I think it's going it looks like the queen's going to be the person that does the job on this one. After that air defense goes down, she's got nothing else to do. Here goes the town hall. Qu level 30 queen on the town hall. He's got her ability just in case. And now he's going to use that ability to try and help clutch the, uh, the two star. So the defences are starting to shoot and now in comes the ability, there it goes, 1%, here comes another percent, there it is, and then the third. So Queen's the one that's clutched this raid for him, very nicely done there. So that was the raid against the number one guy, and then the last raid I'll show you, I'll show you the 91% because it was a fail, but um, close. <laughs> so what we're saying, go wee wee... Going in through the top, the queen's on the outside, she should be easy to kill with a few wizards, and um, there, there it goes, and therefore there she goes. And now in go the giants, the heroes, everything that's going to just absolutely power into the the base. So he's not using a jump, oh he is using a jump spell, I, I was wondering if he's going to just try and act, hammer through with a rage then. Um, you can see no lightning, it's not really, he's not really interested in using the lightning spell, he's just got his uh, free spell to, to, to do that. He's doing a multi-purpose, it's freezing the inferno as well. It, has he got another free, no he's only got the one free spell. So unfortunately he couldn't use it for the second, obviously he's got his plans to, um, he, I think he aimed for a two star, um, he, he might be able to correct me on this, um, but l things just went quite well and therefore the three star was on the cards. So you can see now Queen's moving around, she's decided to come out of the core which is good and uh, start taking out all these defences. Now the defences are quite close to like a, within a ring around the core but so are the uh, elixir storages and that sort of thing so they're going to waste her time. So looking how the rest of the raids go in, the troops are sort of fizzling out now. Um, so we'll see how close it is to a three star or how close it wasn't. Here comes the queen. She's losing. Ah, oh, she should have turned on the wizard tower there. That's annoying. If she'd have done that. That might have been a slightly different story then. But we had a king with minimal health and three defences there. So I'm just going to speed through the rest. I don't think uh, the three star was on the cards. Just because of the queen just not doing the right thing. And then, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, 91%, not bad against a, a Tunnel 10. So, um, hope you enjoyed this war recap, guys. Sorry it's a bit longer. Sorry I, I showed a lot of videos this war, but there was a lot of rays to show, and it was an absolutely awesome war t that we dominated on. Just showing the war stats. Where are we? Um, hold on. Savani, you can see, three is three starred, and I three starred bases at the top there that um, had already been three starred. Am I, oh, let's just see what I did. I can't remember. Have I already shown this one? Um, yeah, uh, I think this was the base that Monster looned, and then I went back in and hogged. I think I've got that in a, a specific video, so I'm not going to go into that one. Um, but yeah, <laughs> it's good to good to see that you can mess around by still three starring bases at the end of a end end of a, a war. So 18 attacks won, 7 3 stars, 2 1 stars and 1 1 star. That unlucky that 1 1 star was there, otherwise it would have been another 27 um, war to us. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this recap guys and I'll see you on the next one.